meeting. So my name is Luke Kim, uh, sales master here at Toronto Top, and I'll be your host for today. So before we begin with our company model and uh, start our official meeting today, uh, I would like to just introduce our translator for the current language, Diamond Master A from Sweden. Uh, A, make sure you switch to English when you're speaking in English. The English channel. Okay, yeah, it's work. It's working now. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for doing this for us, A. Um, so let us begin with our company model now. I hope you can all join me with that by turning on your mic and following with me with the actions that is part of the company model as well. So once it's up, I will, we will begin. So let's begin. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Go. Cherish the spirit. Cherish the spirit. Create the vision. Create the vision. Follow the faith. Follow the faith. Serve in humility. Serve in humility. All right. Amazingly done. So for today, we have our three-minute speech prepared to uh, for us, and the speaker for today is Paula McFall from Hawaii. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Have I got my mic on? Okay, good. <laughs> I have to, um, I'm Paula McFall, and actually that's Irish, Scottish, and I was born in the middle of the United States in Illinois, near Chicago, and um, moved many, many times. I've actually been in 45 different countries, and I've lived in three, and it's so much fun. Something I grew up in theater when I was a little girl. And what I really loved about theater that it was real. And you know, when that performance would happen, it would happen so spontaneously, you know, things would happen. There, there would be the most funny things. I remember um, this one guy went out on the stage as a doctor and um, he had his, you know, he had his uh, clipboard right here, right? And he's carrying his clipboard. And he's got the nurse next to him. Well, she notices that his fly is down. And so he's, his zipper is completely down. And she's like, she like grabs this clipboard. This is spontaneous and covers his, you know, covers up his, because he was showing everything. And it was like so bad. But she, this was that, how can I help that in that moment? How can I, you know, what can I do about this? And every time I come on these Zooms, it's so much fun because everybody is being so spontaneous, you know, with, with trying to translate and trying to express themselves. And on my Zoom call this Monday, I just kind of spontaneously ask someone to express how they got into Atomy. I realized I hadn't heard that from a lot of the people. And we went on for a, while, a long time, like 20 minutes. Everybody was sharing. Everybody was sharing. And at the end, everybody said, can we do this again? They want to express themselves. And I know when I'm going out and talking to people, I don't do it like I'm prospecting. I'm not that way. I love people and I want to hear them. So I spend most of the time when I go out and talk to new people, listening to them. Listening is so important because then I learn about them and I learn what their needs are. And then if I want to, you know, express something, I'm, I'm about Atomy, I certainly am gonna go for it. But also Atomy is really a real part of my life. And it's gotten better and better and better and better. And I've learned and I've learned and I've learned. And that's just so healthy for me at my age. And I'm so grateful to this team here who has put this Zoom call up. You know, it's been uh, very inspiring for me. I've come on many times 
you know, sometimes in the dark because I'm like, you know, halfway awake, but it was like, I came on to listen no matter what. And that's it. It's about listening and listening to each other. And so I don't know, I'm just, I'm excited to be with this. This is like a whole new society happening just beautifully throughout this world right now. We're slowly getting better and better and better we are. And I'm dressing nicer now. <laughs> I'm starting to think about my makeup. I'm starting to think, you know, um, don't wear your pajamas outside, Paula. You know, it's like, it's like, wake up, you know, don't wear your sweatshirts, don't wear all. I took away all the ugly clothes out of my closet the other day. It was a big, huge pile. I got it. And my room has been feng shui. <laughs> I'm into making my room as beautiful as possible. What I look at, I want it to be beautiful. And then I want out my windows to be very beautiful. So it's like work on your spaces, work on yourself. Make yourself beautiful when we go out. We're already getting beautiful by putting all these cosmetics and all this is just amazing. So we have to, re we have to be the absolute. We have to be the absolute. Us. So. I've, and I have one more thing I have to do with you guys today. This is so much fun. Everybody get a pencil and paper. Got to get a pencil and paper for this little, this is a little fun thing to do. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to give you five seconds to write this answer down. We did this on our Zoom on Monday. This is really fun. Five seconds. Okay, you cannot think about this. You're going to put out exactly what the number is that I want. You're just going to give me a number, okay? Ready? How many days have you lived when you live to age 70? How many? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, put your papers up, everybody. What did you come up with? What's everybody come up with? How many days did you live to age 70? I can't see them. Tell me. Everybody get on mics. I want to know. Anybody? I wrote 5,000. <laughs> How many? 5,000. Five thousand. Want anybody little, else come up with a number? Short. Okay, you ready for this? Okay, let's think about PV and think about money. When I say this number, okay, twenty-five thousand five hundred and fifty days. That's it. That's it. 25,550 days to age 70. And maybe if you lived 100, you're going to get 36 something back, right? We don't get much. So there's no manana. Do it today. Everybody do it today. Enjoy your day. Have fun and, and just speak from your heart. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Paula McCall, for that amazing presentation. The enthusiasm and the energy that you give us as well, we are very grateful for that. And of course, we enjoy you speaking as much as you enjoy your time here as well. There's many things that we have been able to get from you, from your sharing your experience that you experience from your side of the world. Of course, your connection and your certain stamps that we have not experienced as well. So thank you very much, McFall. That was wonderful. Uh, of course, now we have the next presentation. Um, we have the product presentation by Sales Master David Kim. Hello. My name is David Kim. I am a sales master at Toronto Top. And today I'll just be talking about two quick, short products. So right now it's about to hit spring or summer very soon, or it's sunny to some places we live. And I just want to introduce to you our Atomy sunscreens. So uh, right now we have six Atomy sunscreens, but uh, I put two of the most popular ones or the first ones that came out that people usually like to use. Um, so the first one is Atomy's regular sunscreen at the very bottom right. It is $13 and is a PV of 2500 So this is the first sunscreen that Atomy has released. It is available in two colors, beige and white. Uh, the beige one is a lot of people 
is more suited for a woman because of the tinted color. Uh, some women use it for uh, a makeup base, but of course men could use it as well. I use both colors uh, whenever I want to, doesn't matter when or uh, how. Uh, but men typically also prefer the white one as it helps up uh, with the natural tone up on your face and leaving it without any white uh, residue or anything compared to other uh, sunscreens. It goes into your skin very smoothly and it also is very good for your skin as well as you don't feel like it's too dry or anything. Um, this typically is used for any skin type, which is also very good. Uh, you don't need to worry about it too much. Um, a lot of my friends like to use the sunscreen as well as if I go out and play sports or whatever. Uh, of course, we need a lot of sunscreen. And this actually lasts long on your skin as well for almost majority of the day. Uh, it has a very good UV protection of uh, SPF 50 and has a triple, um, triple PA+. Plus. So this is also very good to protect our skins. Um, and the next product is the Atomy's Absolute Essence Sunscreen. This is a cost of $19 and a PV of $3,800. So this PV is, or this sunscreen is mostly used for uh, people who are in the older age, but of course young people could use it too. Uh, I just say a bit on the older age because um, this has essence. So people who have drier skin could technically use this um to just uh have a brighter skin and to just fix your skin a bit with a sunscreen as it does have essence um it's for skins that lack the elasticity this will also help as well um but it's also recommended for highly recommended for dry skins if you put it on oilier skins uh you might have to just put a little bit if you want to because uh, you might get acne from it because um it does have essence in it and it could kind of react with the skin. So you just want to check up on that as well. Um, but this technology that Atomy has put into it is very good and unique as it has a different uh, PA+. plus. This has the same SPF 50, but a PA of 4 plus, which is the highest UV protection that there is. And Atomy has put this uh, technology on such great, uh, you know, cosmetics or lotions and sunscreens which is very good and then uh, really appreciate it, of course um so basically what the spf uh spf is so 30 percent it can block up to 97 uh, of uv light but then spf 40 is 98 but atomy has put the 50 plus which is a 99 percent to 100 percent uv blockage so for this daily um use it's very good for us as atomy has put actually the highest quality as possible and is just helping us to have better skin during the summer as well so i highly recommend uh people to try this as it is becoming sunny outside uh or where, wherever it is sunny outside right now i would highly recommend you to try buying the atomy sunscreens as it is highly recommended and i love it and a lot of people like it as well very popular uh and yes thank you for listening Thank you very much, and David, for that uh, product presentation. So he showed to us the two amazing products of the sunscreen that uh, I myself enjoy as well, especially the normal sunscreen. It has the benefit of protecting your skin from the sun, but also as a, a, a skincare product that's able to help uh, help the skin as well. So it's an amazing product that goes with the absolute quality of the standard that Atomy has so that you can get the maximum benefit from the sunscreen for your uh, protection and skincare. So next uh, we have uh, Daniel Kim for the eight steps to success for us to understand uh, what path and what steps to take so that we can reach success in our road to Atomy. morning everyone welcome to uh the top seminar once again thank you all for joining and uh, yes uh, my name is daniel kim diamond master and i'll be covering the eight steps to success today so the eight steps to success right this is the uh building blocks one of the building blocks of atomy's business what it drives from and and everything that Atomy does it kind of uh, 
revolves around doing these eight steps, right? Everything you do in this business, uh, whether you're going out to meet people, these are all the steps that you have to follow in order for you to be guaranteed success. And so here is the eight steps to success, right? Uh, we have the first step, which is to set a goal. Uh, then the next step, which is to commit to those goals, commitment. Uh, and then next is to make a list uh, of your members and, and then to invite those members from that list. Uh, after that, you have to explain the business once you invite those members uh, and then you follow up with those members that you've explained the business to and then lastly you uh the seventh step is to consult those members that you've explained the business with uh, along with your sponsors and then the last step which is to kind of wrap it all together and put it into one full cycle which is to duplicate uh this business right and these steps and that that is pretty much the uh essence of how Atomy works. Uh, very simple, very straightforward eight steps. Uh, within these eight steps, it breaks down to a bit further uh, when you dive a bit deeper, but these eight steps is what helps you reach ultimately the, the success for Atomy. So here is the first step, which is to set a goal. Right. Uh, if you haven't done the uh, first, the balanced life and planning out your uh, kind of life already and filling out those goals, then it's a good idea to kind of make a list of all the things that you want to finish and want to achieve in this lifetime. Right. Uh, write down the dreams that you have, the goals that you have, uh, and like help you know what you are aiming for. And so that way you can walk down the right path. Uh, because Atomy, without a goal, you're going to have a very difficult time progressing further in this business, right? The reason why we have a goal is to set ourselves, to make ourselves hungry, right? To have that thirst for uh, achieving that goal. But without that, if you're just satisfied with making only $2,000, uh, $4,000 a month, then you're sadly in the wrong business because, you know, our goal is not to make that kind of money. Our goal is to create a lifestyle where we have a lot of things balanced, whether we have the love that we wanted, a family that we want to protect, uh, you know, uh, financial freedom to be able to do what we want to do and, and uh, when we want to do it, right? Uh, in order for us to achieve all of this, then we have to be able to go beyond just making, you know, a small portion of just $2,000, $4,000. Right? But many people, they lose sight of their goal. Their end goal is not to make 100000 a month, but their end goal just ends up being, okay, now that I've reached sales master, I don't have to do any more work and all I have to do is now wait for my partners to succeed, right? But that is not the end goal of this business, right? The, the goal is to set for something much further, much higher than what you can achieve now, right? Whether that's, okay, I'm going to reach a star master by next year, or I'm going to reach Royals Leaders Club by 2023, 20, January, right? You have to be specific in order to set yourself and kind of help you push yourself to, in that direction. Uh, if we're kind of vague with our goals and dreams, then the way we walk towards that dream is also going to be vague and not very, you know, heated and passionate, right? Uh, without the kind of the passion and the greed to succeed in this business, you're not going to be running full force, right? And you have to think of this as your business. No matter what other people are doing around you, whether your sponsors or your partners are doing well or not, with or without you, you have to keep pushing forward. Uh, because in this business, regardless of where you are, there's always going to be people that are different from you. You have to understand that we, we are all different people, right? Everyone here today in this meeting, we all have different things that we believe in, all have different kind of motivations, morals, ethics, and things like that. Uh, and that's how, you know, God truly made us, right? It, it not in the exact paper mache or staple cut out of each person. And that's the beauty of it. We, we are all so different and we all have different talents. 
And so in order for us to fully realize that, we have to come to terms with that people are different and you're going to have times where you're not going to meet well on the same level or the same wavelength with others. But that's okay, right? Because business is like that. When you're starting your own business, whether it's Atomy or not, you're always going to have people that are not the same like you who are going to have a different mentality and you're going to now look for someone who's going to be a good partner for you, right? For example, I was Amazon. I'm not going to hire anyone to be my partner, especially if they're a bad fit for me, right? We don't work too well together. We have bad synergy and bad teamwork. Obviously, we're not going to do perform as well as we should if I hired or met a partner that is as good or works as hard as I am or I feel that is a good uh, partner, right? And so don't worry if you have one or two uh, bad partners or things that you feel like is not a good match for you, right? That shouldn't scare yourself from this business uh, because this is a amazing opportunity with a lot of things that you can achieve just by accomplishing this business. Right? If your mindset is so small where you, you feel that, oh, this person is not a match, I should give up on this business, then you're wasting a opportunity of a lifetime, right? And so don't be scared, don't be worried about what others are like or where they are at in their journey. Just focus on your goals and your dreams and rush towards it. And sooner or later, the people around you will also be heading to that same goal. Because ultimately, we're all supposed to have the same goal, which is to reach that end goal of becoming an imperial master, right? So while you're running this race, you'll start to have people around you who are also going to be at that same level, right? It, all it takes is a lot of patience, a lot of commitment and time. And so as we cycle into the next part, which is commitment, right? You can't have a good business without commitment. Uh, committing yourself to Atomy is the most number one thing that you have to do to set yourself in the right uh, path. Because without having a proper commitment, if you lack that kind of motivation and commitment to this business, obviously nothing will go in your favor, right? Uh, if you start a business today, let's say you open up a store in the middle of any uh, local street, if you're not committed to that business, do you think that business will do well? Will you be able to make the results that you dreamed of or planned of for that business when you opened? The answer is obviously no if you have a very low commitment to that business, right? If you think that you can spend five hours a day on that business and make a million dollar business, unfortunately, that's not how businesses work, right? If that was it, then everyone would be a millionaire there would poverty wouldn't exist, right? But unfortunately, that is not the case. Uh, with hard work comes reward, right? And if you're not willing to work hard and put in the commitment, the same thing applies for Adam. You will not see the reward. If you are faking your commitment to Adam, again, you will not see the reward. Uh, there's so many different types of people in this business. And, you know, I've seen it all. People who actually work hard, people who put in the effort, pretend to put in the effort and, you know, expect results and then complain later on because there is no result. Uh, unfortunately, that's not how it works, right? Adam is built it's so well that it doesn't allow for those kind of people to succeed. They might, you know, go up a ladder or a few uh, using that kind of method, but they'll never be able to truly reach Imperial Master. And that's why it's fair, because those kind of people will still be stuck in that level if that's all they're going to continue to do, to try to use people to think that they can get away by cheating the system. And that's why it's nothing that you need to be worried about just because you think differently from them. All you have to do is just work hard and commit to this business, because sooner or later, your efforts will not betray you and you will see that results, right? So make a firm decision. If you decided to do Atomy, you know, set a time limit for when you're going to become a full-time member, a full-time uh, Atomian, right? If all you're doing is always thinking, oh, I'm going to do part-time until I make like $2,000 a month, then it'll never happen. Because unfortunately, without putting in the time and effort to this business, becoming an auto sales master is that much harder, right? 
it takes that much hard work and commitment to become that kind of level. So if you're already scared by that level of commitment, then it might be best to stick to a just regular nine to five. But I have a big news for you because those people who are still in that kind of nine to five mentality, uh, the times are changing, right? The time where we can safely rely on those jobs are no longer there. Uh, the time where I can now come out of college and then go straight into the workforce and expect to retire at a safe age of 65 or 70 and have a proper retirement and live out the rest of my life, you know, without worrying about money is long gone. There's many people on the streets struggling, even people that are 70, 80, still working because of this issue, because inflation is a real thing. And no matter how much we want to think that it's not, it's constantly getting worse. And, you know, the cost of living, the cost of food is going up. So, you know, what are you going to do, right? What is your solution to getting out? Are you going to work forever? You can't work forever. Once you hit like 70, 80, your body betrays you. You know, you start feeling that effect of being old, the old age, right? There's nothing wrong with aging. It's just a natural process. But the fact that it happens to all of us is unavoidable. Then you have to prepare yourself for that future so that way you can be safe when that comes, right? That you can provide for yourself, but not only that, but for your children and their children. And that's why you have to commit to this business, right? If you truly decide to do Atomy, then you, you should be not, you shouldn't be scared to just jump in afterwards, right? After a set amount of time. And be consistent, right? Having a, inconsistent commitment is not going to work for anyone not for yourself not for your partners right if you are inconsistent with your results no one's going to like it right think of it as your own business would you be inconsistent in in showing your results no right you gotta be consistent with where you're at it might not be the same 100 percent consistency no one asks you to always be 100 percent. we're not machines but at least do your best to pump out whatever you can to your fullest ability whether that is your fullest is 50 percent. make sure it's continuously 50 percent until you can raise it to 70 percent and then to 100 percent, right because this business is not asking everyone to do a lot it's just being committed and consistent and one of the things to do that commitment is to do the eight core every day. Because with the eight core, you'll start to see change in yourself, right? The daily use of Atomy products. Uh, in order for you to truly share these products, you have to use it daily to understand why it's so great, right? Read the books, read, watch the VODs. And they will help you learn further about why you want to start this business or what makes it so great and then get plugged into these seminars and the systems uh, not because you know for you because once you reach a certain point you pretty much understand that it's just a repetitive cycle of listening to the same thing but the fact that you're listening shouldn't stop you from stop coming instead you should continue to come come once again over and over because you're not the only one in this business it's your partners and their partners and if you start to show that you're inconsistent with your commitment, who will see that? Your partners. And who will see that again? Your partner's partners. And what will they do? They'll copy you because that's what they think this business is about, to put in half-hearted work and expect some good results. But that's not how this work, business works, right? And those people at the very top, the royal masters that we see uh, and that speak to us, they're there because they've put in that commitment every day, no matter how hard it was, and no matter how many times they failed, they continue to put in that commitment. And so don't be scared to, uh, first off, have like a, a little bit empty when you're first doing the eight core, right? You know, everyone starts somewhere. And that's what I, I really like about this business. No one it starts perfectly right off the bat, like everything is filled off. Right? Oh, I know everything that I'm going to have and every goal that I'm going to set for my entire life. Uh, unfortunately, no one knows. Right? But as you progress in this business, you'll start to build upon the A core. And you'll see that, oh, this is where I want to do. This is what I want to do for myself. And as you fulfill those A cores, you'll start to see the changes in your lives. Right? And so I think that 
this eight core is really important to do along with the eight steps. So if you haven't done it before, please, please uh, make sure you try these eight cores you know, with your sponsors, right? Uh, you work together with your sponsors because it kind of it aligns your goals together uh, as you move together as a team, because this overall in the end, this is a team business, right? And so you want to build together the eight cores with your team and check on each other to make sure that you're fulfilling those requirements. So the next thing is to make a list. So once you, you know, are fully committed or ready to commit to this business, now you want to make a list of all the members that you can potentially think of. It doesn't matter if they're going to do the business or, or, or be a consumer, just add them in the list. And then you start contacting them, right? So you mu must make that list first. And if you have uh, trouble making that list, speak to your sponsors because that's what they're there for. And, you know, you got to start somewhere, right? So you got to talk to people around you first, and then you can branch out to further people that, you know, you don't know through social media or other forms of methods. And so once you have that list, then you invite them. Uh, invite the people uh, is a very important part of the business because, you know, how else are you going to make reach out to people without inviting them, right? So set a number of people you want to reach per day. That's where the eight core comes in and the one, three, three, right? So you want to set up that uh, amount of people you want to reach. Let's say it's three people a day. And so without fail, even if they don't join or don't consume Atomy products, you contact them. Right, and make this a habit, and then you contact them again. Right, and same thing, and you, you hit them up. Oh, hi, how are you doing? You know, uh, I'm doing this business, and it's the products are really great, and I want to introduce them to you. Right? Or even just talk to them and listen to them, see what they need. Right. Oh, sometimes they'll give you hints on what they're going through, what what kind of things that are, that are going around in their lives. Right, and kind of pick up these little things that you can help to implement uh, with Atomy. And, and that's how you can introduce the business to them. And so this is a, a big thing. So once you've invited them, a majority of those people won't ever step into this uh, business process, right? So a lot of people think that, oh, everyone has to be a business member in order for them to succeed in this Atomy business. No, majority of your uh, people under you are eventually going to just be consumers. And that's great. Because in this business, everything strives off cons consumption, right? We consume and then we generate PV and that PV allows us to receive commission. And so having people consuming is pretty much the basics of this business. Without people consuming, you can't generate PV, right? So if all you're thinking about is adding business people and they're not going to consume because they don't know what this business is about, right? Only once you make consumers and those consumers truly understand the value of this product and vision of the business, then you can explain the business to them, right? Don't skip this invitation step and then immediately try to invite them just for business because it's not going to work. They're not going to understand why it's so great, right? So once you invite them and then they truly understand the value of the products, then you invite them to explain the business, the business side of things, the company concepts, the products, the, the compensation plans, and the lastly, the vision that Atomy has set out. And once that they understand the vision and all the things that they have, then it's up to them whether they want to pursue the business or remain a consumer. And then after that, you want to follow up, all right? Uh, key thing is that many people miss out on a lot of their consumers or even business partners because they fail to follow up with their members. So make a phone call within the next 48 hours of meeting them to check up on your new member to see how they are. Uh, find out what's been happening. Listen with care and provide a solution or advice if they have any and arrange for subsequent follow-ups. And then the next thing is to consult after that. Right After you follow up with them and then they realize that, yes, I want to do this business, then you want to consult with them uh, along with your sponsors, right? Uh, and when you're consulting, always be positive, always be caring, uh, have an attitude to listen, to provide advice and support, and, you know, help your partners to make that list, right, once they decide to pursue this business. Because many people go through the same thing, same questions. Uh, well, let's say person A says, oh, I don't know anyone, right? But 
you know, it's just the uh, everyone knows someone. They're just saying it because they're shy, right? Or they're embarrassed about what they need they're doing. But they're only embarrassed because they don't truly believe in what they're doing, right? So don't be, uh, you got to give, instill that confidence in them so that they don't be embarrassed and then help make that list together. Uh, if you just open up your, your phone or your Facebook messenger or things like that, everyone there is a consumer right? or a potential consumer. And so they can just write it all down, whether they contact them now or today or tomorrow, it doesn't matter. Just write it all down. And that's how they start off with their list. Right. And then person B says, oh, OK, no one would register as a member. Uh, but then did they explain the company vision? Did they explain the products and things like that, right? If they don't know, then how would they sign up? So let them know about those things and the products, introduce them to the products, and then naturally they might be interested in signing up. And then person C, they're saying, oh, there's hardly any sales. Then advise them that, you know, they might not be making any repeat consumption right? because they don't contact them. Because a lot of members, they don't, naturally look to seek out for consumption automatically uh, repeatedly over and over again sometimes you gotta contact them to see how they are and then kind of push them in that direction right so you have to emphasize the best parts of the features of that products and and that's how you can help generate repeat consumption but how do you know the best part of that product if you've never used it yourself so it's a big part to do that eight core that I mentioned before, because from there, the number one is to consume, to use the products, right? So you use the products, you understand the benefits of the products, then you'll have an easier time sharing the products. And you have another member, they'll come, uh, which is a big thing and say, oh, my downline is not getting any bigger. And so there's two parts to this, which is to, they're not joining the system. Right. They're just going out, doing all they can to sell, 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 trying to add people, but not being a part of the system. Uh, people can succeed even they, if they have no skill or aren't smart uh, because of the atomy system. But if they're not being part of the system, then how can they expect that kind of result? Because our business is not about just selling. Our business is about building a, a management business, right? building an uh, empire of people together to work together as a team. Another thing is that new newcomers don't feel as welcome and may leave, right? So in Atomy, you have to have that, that attitude of serving and humility, right? Embrace taking losses. Don't be afraid of spending some money for your partners or con consumers, uh, you know, but also be wary of not putting PV into the wrong people that don't need it, right? Many people think that, oh, I'm going to put PV into this consumer and even though they're just a consumer, they haven't come out openly to express interest in doing a business, expecting them to suddenly change to doing, becoming a business partner. But um, unfortunately, people don't do that. Uh, and they'll just think, oh, okay, you're giving me free money and that's it. But the people that actually need it, the people that are working hard, your partners, they're the ones that are going to feel the brunt of that if you help the wrong kind of people, right? So please, you know, avoid helping the wrong members and rather focus on the people that are actually working hard together with you because those are your true core partners. If you exhaust them, then eventually they might feel that this is no longer the business for them and they'll leave. Because not everyone will have that same kind of mentality to pursue this to the end. Some people will feel exhausted. And so it's important for us to continue to help our partners and be a good role model and leader. And so lastly, when you're able to tie it all together, then you can duplicate your results. So only once you're able to do step one to seven perfectly, can you duplicate the a perfect member, right? If we are duplicating step one to seven uh, imperfectly to a member, then the results will be the same thing. They'll become an imperfect member, right? And so in order for us to see the, the same results that we want, right, in having a good partner, a hardworking partner, then we also have to be the same, setting the same example, right, don't be greedy, don't be selfish, be a humble and honest leader that supports and works hard for their partners, uh, because in the end, you know, that's the best way to generate uh, results, 
right? To to be humble for one another and give give to those in need and really put yourself ahead of those below you, right? Not the way vice versa. And you don't expect your partners to do all your work for them. And just because you've reached sales master now doesn't mean that you should, you know, oh, okay, now I'm going to not do anything and wait for my partners to succeed. No, instead, you should be working two times as hard as your partners, right? two times as more effort, three times as more effort uh, in order for them to succeed. Because in the end, their success means your success. And so I hope that you've all uh, learned something today for the eight steps. And uh, I hope that you continue to pursue your eight steps uh, with your sponsors and your partners and make sure you do your eight cores daily as well. And thank you all for listening. Thank you very much for that detailed guide to kind of understanding our eight steps to success. So each point is something that we need to focus on and something that we need to develop. But what's amazing is that these eight points are things that we are to gradually work on in a way. So even if we fail at one step, we go to, to the steps and then we revise ourselves to improve that in our day-to-day -day walk with Atomy. Because as we improve our steps, we go through failures for some of them. We may not do some of them, but as we keep on doing it, we get that habit and it becomes part of ourselves. We enjoy each step. We enjoy talking to our consulting with our sponsor, meeting with our partners, doing all this stuff. So at certain times we may fail, but then the way Atomy is built, every failure is a step for us to learn to improve. And then from that step, we can master that step and then each step becomes our actual step in growing. And so with these steps that has shown proof that it works through the evidence of a lot of the leaders, some of the leaders here and the many leaders that have reached Imperial Master and so on that have used these steps to reach their position shows you that these steps work and has been uh, reiterated, uh, retold by them to their stories that their success were underlining to the basics of using these points because success is very similar for us because we're walking the same path they have. We're just a little bit behind on when we started, but we'll still be able to reach there. And all we need to do is do the same thing that they have done and we'll ultimately and I think Daniel has explained those steps to us very clearly and gave us his point of view and more information on top of that so that we can clearly understand. Of course, something like this long is not something that we can pick up right away. We always have to work at it, continuously build on top of it. So thank you very much for, thank you very much for that presentation, Daniel Kim. And of course, now we have our last speaker, our leader message from Sharon's master, Young Soo Kim. 네, 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. 샤론 노즈 마스터 김영수입니다. Hello everyone. Nice to meet you all. I am Sharon Noz Master Young Su Kim. Atomy is a rule life. Atomy는 정말 새로운 생활과 같습니다. Atomy is a new life. I feel like something is brand new that's given to us. Atomy는 우리의 삶을 바꾸는 새로운 도구입니다. Atomy is a life-changing new tool for us. Um, uh, 지금, uh, 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 from the information that we heard of today and from what we know of Atomy, I believe that you can be certain that Atomy is almost brand new. It's very different, something that we haven't heard before. 네, 오늘 이렇게 함께 네, 들어보고 여러분이 새로운 어, 여러분의 삶, 새로운 여러분의 도구를 가지고 여러분의 꿈을 어, 가꾸시기를 어, 원합니다. I hope that the meeting that we have together will be able to inspire you to have the atomy as a tool to accomplish your dreams. 음, 네, 저도 어, 캐나다에 이민 와서 살면서 제 꿈이 무엇인지 다 잊어버렸는데 애터밀 통해서 꿈을 이루어 가고 있습니다. 
When I first immigrated to Canada, I forgot about my dreams. But through Add to Me, I have been able to uh, move towards my dreams through its help. 네, 이렇게 멋진 새로운 도구, 어, 새로운 삶을 예, 어, 계속 진행하고 있습니다. And with this new tool of Add to Me and this new life I'm able to live, I am continuously going forward. 음, 어차피 우리가 생활하면서 그냥 써야 되고 없어져야 되는데 이 도구도 새로운 자산을 만들 수 있다는 기적 같은 일이 바로 애터미입니다. In our normal life, there are things that we use and sometimes things that are used up. But then with Add to Me, it changes our life to a different style and we're able to have that hope in it. 음. 어젯밤 꿈에 제가 다 버리는 쓰레기를 재활용하니까 멋진 새로운 작품이 되는 꿈을 꾸었습니다. I had a dream last night where I had a bag of garbage, but then uh, from that bag of garbage, I look into some of the things that could be recyclable, and from that recyclable goods, many amazing things were created from it. 네, 어차피 저는 건강식품을 먹어야 되고 화장품을 발라야 되고. 또 내가 필요한 생활용품, 디시드럽이라든가 어, 디시 디터전트 어, 여러 가지들을 저는 써야 되는 사람이었습니다. I was an individual that used just daily necessary stuff, shampoo, conditioner, dish drop, and other products like that. 음, 그냥 쓰면 그 동안에 끝내 끝나고 말았습니다. 그냥 돈을 버리고 어, 말았습니다. I was just using the product, and once they were used up, it was done. There was nothing else from that step. It was just uh, a purchase done, and then money was used up. 네, 새로운 생활, 새로운 도구를 만나서 이제 그것이 자산이 되었습니다. And then now a new tool has happened. And now the same thing, the same action that I have done is now a tool for me to make income. 네. 이 애터미를 통해서 어, 새로운 이 도구를 통해서 어, 정말 에, 나의 에, 그 인컴이 만들어졌고 또 정말 새로운 친구 어, 신뢰를 가진 애터미를 통해서 서로 나누는 친구가 생겼고요 그것도 글로벌로 어, 이렇게 정말 멋진 일이 에, 어, 생겨나고 있습니다. Of course, through this tool, this new tool that to me, I was able to make that income, but it was also the connection that I made, the new friends, the, the trust that we built, that's also on a global base as well. 음, 물론 어, 어, 코, 코로나로 인해서 제가 어, 어, 이번에는 비행기를 한 번밖에 못 탔지만 거의 1년에 어, 뭐 3번, 4번씩 어, 비행기를 타고 오가는 그런 사람이 되었다는 것입니다. Um, because of COVID uh, uh, pandemic, I have only been able to go on a flight once this year. But usually uh, I uh, go on flights three times, four times a year. And that was a life that I was living then. From this uh, tool that you, uh, I'm not sure how you may think about it, but the the benefit of Atomy that gave us the assets, the new tool that we are able to use as uh, by using the products, but usually we use the product and throw it, throw, it, throw it out. But now that tool has become uh, a useful tool that makes uh, an income that, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask her to repeat it. I'll be... <laughs> 다시 한번 해주, 해, 아, 말해주, 지금 뭐라고 했는지. <laughs> 그냥 버리는 이 도구를 가지고 우리가... <laughs> 아, 여기 다시 할게. 어, 애터미를 통해서 우리 이제 이 멋진 도구 성공 못하면 기적을 날 수밖에 없는 버리는 쓰레기가 우리 멋진 꿈 그것도 어, 단순한 게한 달에 5천만 원을 벌수 있는 이 꿈을 
Okay. So the products that we used to use and then just throw out, that became a tool that has been able to lead us to that miracle where we cannot, it would be a miracle if we did not succeed. So with that tool, that allows us to be able to make that $50,000 income and to be able to uh, progress forward in that area has been a possibility. Has anyone else seen this type of stuff in the world before? And uh, this a uh, valuable uh, tool information is it something that you just keep to yourself? 예, 영어 이 글로벌 탑 미팅에 여러분 다른 분들도 초청해야 되지 않겠습니까? Should you not invite more people to to Global Toronto Top English Seminar? 이 새로운 우리 라이프 이 새로운 도구를 우리 어, 함께 어, 많은 사람에게 나누어서 많이 초청해서 다음 주에는 더 많은 어, 우리 식구들이 모이기를 어, 바랍니다. This new life, the new tool that we have, uh, we should let many people know about it to share that information. And I hope we'll have more people come out next week. 음, 그래서 같이 멋진 꿈을 이루는 균형 잡힌 삶을 우리 함께 나누는 나누고 정상에서 모두 만나기를 바랍니다. Uh, for us to be able to do it together, to have that balanced life, to have that. Uh, Good living, and I hope we are able to meet at the top. 네, 여러분 꼭 기억하세요. 재활용 멋진 재활용을 통해서 우리가 자산을 만드는 이 삶을 어, 함께 누리고 절대로 잊지 마세요. 한 가지 제품 하나 하나 내가 필요한 한 가지 한 가지 꼭 기억하고 애터을 통해서 모든 것을 자산으로 만듭시다. 그래서 정상에서 모두 만나고. 많은 상과 정보를 누려서 함께 성공합시다. 감사합니다. Let, with that recycled good that we are able to use, we are able to create that into an asset. And from that asset, we are able to build a great amount of stuff. I hope we are able to take this tool of Atomy and reach the top together. I hope we can meet there. Thank you very much. 예, 우리 모두는 착한 사람이기 다음, 다음 주에는 더 많은 사람을 꼭 초청하리라 믿습니다. Because we are nice people, all of us here, we should invite more people to understand this information, this amazing opportunity. So, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you very much, and I apologize for the little mess up. <laughs> I hope you're still able to get the uh, idea across that our share rose master youngster kim has wanted to share that this new tool of atomy is a life-changing tool but it's also almost something that we used to do daily on a base on, on the regular basis but now we can change that into or recycle what we used to do or the leftover we used to do and change that to our benefit now and this amazing opportunity we shouldn't be keeping it to ourselves we should share it to as many people as we can because this is a benefit for them, not something that we're uh, taking advantage of them for. We're just giving them opportunities to be able to use and grow and be able to prosper themselves from. So thank you very much for the message. And we have come to the end of our meeting, Global Top English Seminar. And so we will close our meeting with the company motto. And please stay till after so we can take one photo with everyone. If you can turn on your camera at that moment, that would be wonderful as well. So let's have the company model up and we'll begin. Okay, so if you can, so if you can join me with the company model, that'd be wonderful. Is everyone ready? Yeah. 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 Go. Cherish the spirit, the the vision, follow the faith, serve in humility. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, 
I'll be taking the photo now. I will say one, two, three on three is what, when I will take the camera. And usually what we do is we have the heart. If you are able to see other people, you can follow in with what they do. And that would be great. So let us begin on three, one, two, three. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Thank, thank you, Paula. Thank you, 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 you, thank you, you, thank 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 you,